And we are back with Baron Hawkhouse. This is a Miles M20. This is an interesting little British warplane because it never got a name. It's very sad. It fixed never landing. entered service. Never entered service. It was meant Take to be a home defense. Fixed landing gear so that it could carry more machine guns. <laughs> So, so I uh, had four guns aside, like the Hurricane, the Spitfire, because that was the RAF standard. Four guns aside. No, they aside. had three. Oh, they had three. Yeah. Oh, they did. That's hurricane had four. Oh. Hurricane had four. Okay. But uh, maybe the Spit had three. I thought the Spit had I four. I thought this thing was novel for having more guns than either the Spitfire. No, the no. The that was Britain. Well, the Hurricanes had four. Yeah, they had eight guns. Eight three zero threes chattering away at the Heinkels. But the cool thing is this this little guy here. Uh, actually, you say in performance-wise, fell between the Hurricane and the Spitfire? At the time, you know. Yeah. Remember, around the Battle of Britain, we're still dealing with early Mark Spitfires, early Mark Hurricanes. Sure, so, sure. Uh, if this thing had entered service, it would have been, with that fixed landing gear, it would eventually have been surpassed by Hurricanes and Spitfires. Ah, uh, so sure, much. It would sure. have been left behind. Yeah, of course. But, uh, this was an emergency fighter. Yep. That when they, as the Battle of Britain loomed, the, yep. the RAF began to realize that we may need a lot more fighters than yep. we've got. And, and let's face it, it, the Battle of Britain was fought to the end of September. It wasn't until September where they realized, okay, we're probably going to win this thing. Yeah. Those dark, those dark days of late summer, 1940, it, they mm -hmm. they really didn't know. You know, yeah. it was still a toss-up. So, so Miles threw together a proposal. For a fixed gear fighter, yep, without retract, yep. it had more range than the Spitfire and the Hurricane. Really? Because it could fit more fuel in the wing. Oh, nice! And it was all wood. Wow! And you know what's interesting about it? It it has a bubble canopy, which is yes. almost unheard of. In yes, ahead of its time. Yes, ahead of its time. So at least for Allied aircraft, anyways. Mm -hmm. The Japanese, of course, the Zero had all around. Visibility, it did, but, but it had a framework all the way. It around. did. It this did. This is, was a bubble, a pure yeah. bubble. Uh huh. Nice. In fact, it's using a P47 canopy. My model is. Oh wow! Yes. <laughs> I and, love it. Okay. It's I scratch built it. from foam, like all my stuff. Yeah. Flying on a three cell or four cell. Three cell, four thousand, but it's a power thirty-two. Okay. Runner, okay. A Fourteen inch prop. Okay. Got like a 30 amp ESC in there probably, or 40 uh -huh. amp ESC, yeah. That's a great looking model, and you know what, there, once again, you give you give honor and deference to little known aircraft that people mm -hmm. would look at and go, hey, is that a Spitfire? It's like, no, actually. Well, it's... I actually did, I did paint it up in squadron markings yeah. as a Miles M20 would have appeared. Would have appeared. If it had entered service. Sure. Usually, you just see them, when you see them modeled, you see them with the yellow underside. And oh, sure, the P, side. got the prototype yeah, the insignia external. on it. Yes, yes, yes. The but, uh, I put it in regular squadron markings. Nice. After you take off, I'm gonna land. And the only thing is, I haven't yet landed this thing without ground looping. All right, well, well it, it's going to happen this time. Watch, you're going to grease it in. We're going to have to wipe the butter off the runway when you're done. Just make sure you carry your speed. Don't plop her. Carry your speed. Carry your speed. Carry your speed, boy. Nice. You done I'm just it, brother. Have to call that the miles landing. <laughs> you did. You did fine. Oh. Uh, a little windy, huh? Yeah, I think so. You have to go get it. Great job, Barrett. Great job, brother. All right, Miles M20. Never got a name, so I can't give it a name. But uh, we're at the uh, John Morgan Electric Fun Fly. We're in St. George, Utah. Blue skies, happy landings, all the best from Just Wing It, the mind of Barrett Hawkhouse. Love it. Cheers, everybody.